a lot of people talk about Marvin Harrison Jr. and Olave yeah. and Jackson Smith and Jigba yeah. and Garrett Wilson. You're kind of the OG at this point. I know it's <laughs> just year six, but yeah. of the current crop of Buckeye receivers that keep on sure. hitting this league, yeah. um, you know, you're kind of the OG. Terrible. Man, it's crazy, Rich. Right. I'm not gonna lie. Like, hey, I'm like a young OG, not only there, but like in this building. You know, it goes so far by so fast, and I'm blessed to be in this uh, situation that I'm in. And I learned a lot at Ohio State. I think it really prepared me for the league. And um, kind of towards my end, you can see the trajectory of the uh, the receivers going back up to where it used to be. You mm -hmm. know, what I mean, I think I'm I'm not biased at all. I think wide wide receiver you belongs in Columbus, and um, I think just the depth the longevity that we've had at that position and then the way Heartline is taking it to the next level. Um, you always want to leave the place you go into better than when you found it. And so um, we had a great group of guys my last year there, even learning from uh, Michael Thomas and Devin Smith. That's right. My early years, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's always been receivers come out of Ohio State, but to see how they've taken it to the next level is like uh, first rounder, first rounder, first rounder, and they're ready when they get to the league. And so, you know, I'm always cheering those guys on. I'm I'm looking at their stacks. I'm talking to Heartline here and there. And, uh, you know, if you want to be a, a, a ready receiver for the NFL or just have a, a great career play with great quarterbacks, Ohio State is definitely the place where you're going to get developed and uh, be ready for the next level. So to be kind of like at the – the forefront of that and just being an ambassador, I think, like I said, I'm blessed to be in that situation. And, you know, I'm a little bit more uh, low key. I may not have all the flash, but uh, <laughs> uh, I definitely put my time and work in. It's working out for me, man. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to be a part of wide receiver you and uh, to be kind of like the OGs of somebody they could, they could lean on and draw wisdom from. I'm always going to try to share that with them. They're saying Gino's, uh, Gino Smith's cousin, Jeremiah, might be the best of uh, best of them all, Terry. Hey, right. that's what I'm hearing. Including I haven't got the. Though. I haven't got including you though. That's saying yeah, that right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Like I, my eyes don't lie. You know what I mean. And I think the biggest thing that I've noticed, like obviously the moment's not too big for him. He's making, he's he's gonna catch the ball better with one hand than he does two. And you can just see the natural God given ability that he has. It's just different. Like everybody saw when Marv came in. It's like okay, that's he's six four. He runs route like he's six feet. He's quick. He's fast. He he has great hands. Catch radius. All that. It's like they it's like they upgrade every year. You go Chris and then mm -hmm. uh, Olave and then you got or you got Chris and then you got Garrett. And then you got Jackson and even uh, um, um, Emeka is having a great year as well. But Jeremiah Smith, I think the number one thing that is cool to hear come out of Columbus is his work ethic. A lot of 18 year olds, especially nowadays, I'm not trying to sound like an old, old head, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, like, you know, there's a lot of things that are coming their way as young athletes in the in college with NIL and portal and just so many moving parts to hear a guy who's coming straight out of high school who has his head on straight and is just a grinder like I know coach Mick is grinning in the ear because Ohio State they love guys who go on a grind the, the shine is going to come you're playing in front of 100,000 you're going to play on TV uh, but a guy who puts the work in keeps his head down and no matter what his success looks like it doesn't determine his work ethic those are things that I that I know that create longevity, and that's why a guy like that is going to be successful. He, you can't, you can't like, he's blessed with six four, can run fast, like all that stuff. But you can't teach the work ethic in guys, and I think that's sometimes a missing ingredient. Um, but when a guy like that has the, the the talent, and then the work ethic that I hear that he has, um, the sky's the limit. So um, I'm excited to see how he continues to develop along with the other guys, and hopefully we can get back on track this week. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.